Good morning, folks. Winter time in North America. We've got a nice balmy 12 degrees Fahrenheit outside. That's minus 11 Celsius. And today I am doing a quick video on a follow up that I did a while back on a OBD1 diagnostic reader. The, the guy who put it together, Rick Potter, uh, sent me an updated version and uh i gave it a try and here's what i found it's uh i normally do not endorse products but here is a shout out to him um thank you for sending it to me i appreciate it very much i do not show products that i'm not convinced are a good idea or they actually work so here we go you're right might recognize the, this little gizmo from a while back out of an earlier video and like i said Robert rick sent me a nice letter and these instructions they're very helpful they work on cars from the uh, 1985 1988 to 95 and here's the newest code reader that he put together there's the led and here the connection wires. It works on uh, the 8 and the 16 diagnostic pin type plugs that you have on the various uh, 126, 124 uh, cars. Um, and uh, well, Biggest problem that you will find with any of these, and it's really cool as a uh, 38 connector also, that this works on. There are plenty of the descriptions. He put the codes, and all codes that you can possibly get into under mercedescodereader.com. So, biggest issue that you'll find is as follows. So with this, you put you need to provide power on the eight pin yellow is for di diagnostics for the pins one goes here and to show that you actually have power the LED comes on when you put push test and then most of these do not have anything even attached here but uh, he, on this one I have something in um six seven and unfortunately what i have here <laughs> one bright led light that stays on that is the dreaded issue with OBD1 readers because that means there's a relay stuck somewhere there. It can be cobwebs um, or the wiring harness that might be um, have cracks in it or shorts or something like this. So on this car, this one is going to be useless because what you need to do is you need to start replacing relays because again it could be a, a simple stock relay if the car like this is running beautifully good luck it's probably better off just not even messing with it uh, but in order to for this to work unfortunately it is like the old christmas lights if one light is out everything else is out and if here is there if there is one false contact uh good luck because you need to start pulling relays look for cracked wire somewhere but that's it so i can recommend this because this can come in really helpful once you do clear that fault it can isolate the issue fairly and it's fairly straightforward because you finally have a way to attack what the problem might be um so thank you rick 
it's going to come in handy with <laughs> not this one in this car but maybe yet another one where the contacts aren't <laughs> aren't stuck uh well give the channel a like share it with other folks who might be able to um make good use of the information i i do try to share for everyone the channel is may not be something for everyone i realize that but um these cars are 30 plus years old the majority of them uh, are in beautiful shape and if you are in the process of rebuilding one hey <laughs> also give all always feel free to give me su suggestions for topics and i will try to pick up on them on some upcoming videos take care bye